A major farmer shortage is coming to Canada. A new report out raising the alarm, saying more than 40% of farmers are set to retire in the next 10 years, and the average age of a farmer is around 56 years old. There's, of course, concern over what that means for the farming sector and our country's food supply. So what can be done to support the industry? Marie-Claude Guibault is Canada's Minister of Agriculture. Thanks so much for your time, Minister, and I appreciate you coming on CTV today. It's always my pleasure. What's the takeaway here for you? I know you've seen the report. What do we need to know? Well, uh, it's no surprise. Uh, we are facing a major labor shortage, but also the issue around interesting uh, the, the the new generation in farming. And farming is much more than working in the field. Of course it is, and it is, it's, it's increasingly important. Uh, it is also fascinating to see all the new careers that the new generation can find in agriculture beside working in the field, working with the animals, of course, but uh, research innovation uh, is also extremely important. And these are the type of of skills that we're looking for to to fill the, the jobs of of our future agriculture as well. That number we see on the screen, Minister Bibo, a shortfall of 24,000 workers. How do we how do we solve that shortfall? Well, uh, trying to raise the interest in the new generation and including um, looking at women as well. So often women are telling me that they are not the first natural um, uh, person in the family to take over while we can see a lot of interest. Uh, we know that, uh, so this is why we have a few programs to include uh, increased diversity in agriculture. We are also investing significantly in research and innovation. Uh, automation is, is one part of it. Uh, we have put in place some fiscal incentives as well to uh, make it easier and more attractive for the, the children to take over the farm from their parents. Obviously, we are bringing a lot of temporary foreign workers uh, into the country seasonally, but also for all year long in our processing facilities as well. So we are working on an agricultural labor strategy right now. And this also includes uh, partners like the Food and Beverage Canada, the Canadian um, Agricultural Human Resource uh, Council as well. And obviously, the provinces are uh, an important partner in this uh, journey. Yeah, you talked about education too, and so we're just going to bring up some information, you know, just in terms of, uh, you know, where Canada ranks uh, in terms of, uh, you know, agricultural education. And we can see there we're a little bit behind uh, New Zealand, but we're really within the EU average as well, trying to encourage people to go into the agricultural sector. Um, how concerning, Minister Bibo, is it for our country's food supply? Should people be worried? Because we, you know, we all know the slogan, farmers feed cities. Definitely, and we're blessed in Canada to have uh, so many uh, agricultural resources, but we need the people, and this is a big issue. So yes, we're working with partners like uh, Agriculture in the Classroom, Ag in the Classroom, for example, to raise the interest of the new generation. Once again, immigration is uh, another important part, and um, it is agriculture is changing as well with all these new technologies. Uh, so it's... Uh, for those people who like working outside in the field, but there's a lot for uh, those who are interested in science, for example. Is it tricky to convince young people to go into farming? I mean, there is so many care careers associated to agriculture right now. So when I, I jump in a big combine, for example, the first thing I thought of is that my son, who's a gamer, uh, yeah. would never believe that riding one of these big tractor now needs that kind of skills. So I think it's important to um, to spread the word that agriculture uh, requires a very wide variety of skills now. Mary Claude Bibo is Canada's agricultural minister. Uh, thanks so much for this, Madame Bibo. We appreciate your time. Thank you.